Hey, what's up guys, Second Crib here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the deep storage unit from Mine Factory Reloaded. This is quite possibly the biggest storage block in all of Modern Minecraft. So the deep storage unit can hold uh, and the deep storage unit can hold over two billion items. Basically and basically max uh, basically the maximum integer possible. So uh so Basically, and basically, the deep storage unit is really good if you want to keep, like, say, all your cobblestone in one block. It, it can, it can do up to two, two billion at least. I, I don't know the exact integer because it is so huge. Like, it's, it would be impossible. It would be impossible for me to memorize that integer. But it's basically max in max in to minus one or two to the thirty first minus one. So, so there's a little quirk with the deep storage unit. Actually, if you if you store the maximum number of items and then break it, you're gonna you're gonna end up with some item loss. But if you don't break it after, oh, but if you keep if you keep trying to store items in there, you can hold almost an additional two stacks. So. Let's uh, let's do a little test here. Let's get a creative strong box. And let's say some oak leaves. Cuz I did I I I did this uh, I did this um oh well, so I did this on enchanted pack. Like I had uh like Devin brought over a deep storage unit filled with uh, filled to the brim with leaves and then and then he transferred those into block placers for munch deuce. Okay, now we put leaves in there, and we are good to go. So, let's get a servo. And disabled. There we go. This will uh, 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 begin to store leaves uh, until it reaches the max integer, which uh, basically won't happen for a very long time. Even, uh, even with the warp item duct. I mean... Uh, I mean, this thing, and this thing has more storage than, and this thing has more storage than a fully upgraded Java barrel. I'm fairly certain. I'll have to double check my facts, but this, this thing can hold a lot of items. Alrighty, so if you take a look at the recipe, the deep storage unit requires a res uh, an empty resonant energy cell frame, four reinforced strong boxes, and four plastic sheets. Or, with the Ender IO recipes, you can do four plastic sheets. Four reinforced obsidian and a dimensional transceiver. Reinforced strong boxes are made with four hardened glass of any kind around a hardened strong box. Hardened strong boxes either made with four invar surrounding a strong box or four tin and four invar surrounding a chest. The strong box is four tin around a chest. Alrighty. Resonant energy cell frame. To make it, you're going to need four enderium around a resonant a redstone energy cell frame. And for the rest of our energy cell frame, you're going to need four hardened glass of any kind, a diamond, and electrum. Alrighty. Reinforced obsidian. To make it, you're going to need four dark iron bars, four dark steel, and, an and a piece of obsidian. Dark iron bars are made with six dark steel in the in the pattern of iron bars. Dark steel is made in an, either in an induction smelter with steel dust and four pulverized obsidian, or four pulverized obsidian with a steel ingot. Or you can do an iron ingot, pulverized coal of any kind, and obsidian in the alloy smelter. Alrighty. And then the dimensional transceiver. To make that, you're going to need electrical steel, an octadic capacitor, two fuse quartz, an ender crystal, or an, and an ender resonator. Electrical steel is made in an induction smelter with silicon and steel, with silicon and steel dust, or in an alloy smelter with iron, pulverized coal, and silicon. Octatic capacitor is made with two vibrant alloy, two double layer capacitors, and a piece of glowstone of any kind. Double layer is made with two basic and energetic alloy and one uh, one piece of pulverized coal. Basic and uh, basic capacitor is four gold nuggets, copper, and redstone. Man, this this recipe is really in depth. Ender crystal, soul binder, uh, soul binder binding an enderman to a vibrant crystal. Vibrant crystal is made with eight uh, eight vibrant alloy nuggets surrounding an ender pearl. And a soul vial is made with one solarium and three fused quartz. The ender resonator. In a slice and splice, you're going to need a vibrant alloy. An enderman head from ender IO doesn't work from head crumbs. Two solarium and two silicon. Wow, that is one complicated recipe for such a huge block. But 
that's i mean i mean give i mean this thing deserves this thing deserves like uh, all of the materials we could throw at it because you could store because you could store two billion items in here so i mean of course of course you, of course that thing's going to be asking for a lot of materials in order to uh, store all those materials. <laughs> well then, so not only can the deep storage unit pump in items, it can also extract items anywhere. Just take a just take a look at uh, take a look at my uh, mine, uh, Minecraft Reloaded series where uh, where I was working on uh, was working on Batania stuff with Devin. I uh, we use the deep storage unit to uh, to use uh, to dispense oak leaves for munch deuce, so that way I could get lots and lots of mana super fast. Thankfully, because his farm had uh, because his farm was on shearing mode, he got tons of leaves. So, I mean, if you want if you want to see if you want to see how the deep storage unit can be used, go uh, go watch uh, go watch the video which I will link in a card in the top right and in and in the description. Alrighty, guys, that'll do it for this brief look at the deep storage unit from Minecraft Free Reloaded. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my, to my channel as it helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message me on Google+. Don't mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.